you do with that harness? We'll put it on her. You can put it on her. This ought to be good. This first? Yeah, show me how you do it. This first. Sit. Uh oh. She's like, I don't want this. Welcome back to Terrier Owner, everybody. Thanks for stopping by again. Today's episode is going to be pretty quick, but it is going to be covering how affectionate these Jack Russell Terriers are. My goal is to get a little bit of footage with my son in it so that you can really see just how these dogs interact and behave when they're out with the entire family. As you can see, she didn't even let me get two minutes into this before she wanted to prove that they are pretty affectionate dogs. Stick around for just a minute and we will be right back with that information for you. Real quick too guys, before we get too deep into this video, make sure that if you like this kind of content, if it's helpful to you, Give it a thumbs up down there below, like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so that you get the newest videos whenever I do publish them. It is a Monday today, and as promised in the first videos on this channel, Mondays and Thursdays are the videos, so that's when you can expect these videos to be coming out. Call for her. Say hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Man, these guys jump. Give her a hug. <laughs> so give me a hug. So what you saw may have looked like some light nipping there. It's really nothing to worry about. It's a playful manner. She knows when to stop. Tell her, Ro. Tell her how to do it. <laughs> You can play with her. You can run around, get crazy. She's probably riled up after that storm earlier. That scared her pretty good. She probably wants to eat your hat over there that you have sitting there for no reason. <laughs> Do something for the camera, girl. Come on. Man, this dog is so hyper right now, it's making this video actually pretty tough to even <laughs> put together. I didn't think that she'd be this wild. She's uh, We couldn't take her on her traditional walk today because we had those storms blow through that are supposedly like the outer part of that hurricane that hit the south. So we had 90 mile an hour winds roll through and it just hasn't stopped raining. To be honest with you, I'm scared to even check the basement at this point because with my luck, it's got water in it. But anyways, let's dive into some of the tips here about understanding the affection that these Jack Russells can show. And tip number one, you're witnessing as we speak. And it is, they are affectionate, but you gotta spend some time with them. Um, they can't just be in a different room in the house hanging out. They need to be around. She's hanging out with my son right now. Obviously in the quarantined world we live in, he's home a lot, so. This is the kind of thing you've got going on. I don't even know what they're doing, to be honest with you, but some kind of cuddling for sure. And tip number two, let's get into that. And that is going to be consistency, consistency, consistency. That matters it's so much with these guys. And that goes for really anything you do with them, basically their entire life in a bottle needs to be consistency. We're talking about training, we're talking about discipline, we're talking about even time out playing if you don't just allow them to free roam the house. Like this, if you got young kids, get them out daily, getting them, get them interacting and it gets so much better as time goes on. Now, if you're looking for specific traits that these guys display that prove that they're affectionate towards their owners, one of them, and one of the easiest ones to recognize how affectionate these guys are is the fact that they just follow you everywhere. You can't go anywhere without these guys right on your right on your tail. I mean, right now, the only reason she's not on top of my face is because my son is out here. So he's kind of 
doing my light work for me today, but if you show them any kind of love or attention, they are hooked. I mean, he is barely petting her at, or putting her in a headlock. I'm not really sure what he's got going on over there, but whatever it is, she's loving it. Getting some kisses, are you? <laughs> Another way you can know that these guys are extremely affectionate is they are cuddling machines. So that can be holding them. It can be what you've already been seeing in this video so far. Maybe not the best lap dog you could ever get, but not bad. Just getting, getting some of the itches out of her. But yeah, guys, these guys, I mean, they cuddle for sure, especially in a calm atmosphere. If he wasn't out riling her up, she would probably just be kind of bumped up against my leg, relaxing, watching the TV and barking at the animals she sees on there. Right now, like I said, the kid's home, so I'm shocked she's not barking at the cats or, or watching. We're all watching Garfield right now, so it's one way they show affection is cuddling for sure. One of the last ways that you can tell how affectionate a Jack Russell Terrier is, is witnessing their jealousy, or if you even want to call it separation anxiety, that could be it too. But if my other dog is out and she is not, and he's the one getting the love, um, she's not happy. I can tell you that. She, they want to be around you. They want you to want them around you, and they will let you know that, either through some kind of whining, uh, sometimes a bark here and there, but they certainly want to be front and center whenever you're out and about. What are you guys even doing over there? What are you? Oh, now she's back on me. No. We'll call for her. I don't want her on me either. I'm trying to make a video. No. Come on. All right, guys. Uh, just a quick video, like I said, about how affectionate these Jack Russell Terriers are. Like I said, if you like these kind of videos, be sure to like the video below subscribe to the channel you'll get two of these a week mondays and thursdays hit that little notification bell so that you are informed when the next video is out and we will catch you guys next time thanks for stopping by